piece of sheep outside my living room. Hey, buddy. Hey, bye. <laughs> Sun's just coming up. Josh is already working on the boat. Finishing off some wiring. And uh, we're gonna have breakfast. Now we're gonna shoot off to Kaikoura for a day. While they do more work on the boat. Better get going. Due to the weather, our plans actually changed several times that morning, and instead of ending up in Kaikoura, we decided to drive towards Lewis Pass instead to go camping for the night. So tonight, we changed our plans a million times because of the weather and the boat. Um, we ended up driving out towards Lewis Pass to try and find a hunting ground. Um, unfortunately, there is 1080 signs all over the place, uh, even in areas where the dock websites didn't mention it. So uh, we're just camping at uh, Deer Valley now. Um, apparently there hasn't been any 1080 dropped in this valley just yet. So uh, set up camp. Josh is going for a little wander with the rifle to see if he can stalk anything before dinner and uh, I'm just finishing setting up camp and having a look around. Doc manages about 200 campsites in New Zealand. They usually cost about eight dollars for an adult and offer at least a toilet. Sometimes you can even get running water in sinks. So these are the typical warning signs for 1080 that you can see everywhere. They're all along the forests here all the way up from um, where we came in uh, Amberley area up to uh, Lewis Pass. We're down here right now, Deer Valley. So uh, if you look at the green area, that's where 1080 drop has happened apparently in November 2016. So this valley still seems to be okay. Um, but there are poison signs around uh, to warn you about the, the bait. And it's all advertised under the the theory of protecting the local birds and uh, protecting the, the land from stoats and rats and mice and everything that could eat the local birds and put them under pressure. This is our little home for tonight. It's unfortunately quite close to the road but at least you can hear the stream in the background as well. Although we had planned to hike into the mountains the next morning, we made the wise choice of spending the time instead to go through all of our gear to identify anything that was missing before we would hit the road for our South Island road trip. Hey everyone, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.